In a review article published in Blood, Timothy Springer called the Von Willebrand factor the Jedi Knight of the bloodstream. He writes, Force and Vidolia function are so closely intertwined that, like members of the Jedi Order who learn to use the Force to do good, VWF may be considered the Jedi Knight of the bloodstream. And this is the VWF structure. What he is referring to here is Von Willebrand factor's ability to sense the forces in the fluid or its flow-induced unfolding, which exposes the previously hidden binding sites. The bond between the VWF A1 domain and platelet GP1B alpha is the fastest bond known in biology. And this rapid recruitment of flowing platelets by the VWF enables a complete occlusion of an artery within minutes. This is a profound hemostatic potential. However, if remained unchecked, it can turn to the dark side. Application of numerical models of thrombosis to the problem of arterial clot formation, for example, during an atherosclerotic plaque rupture, revealed that to achieve platelet aggregation at pathologically high shear rates, the thrombogenic effect of EWF must be accounted for. This is true for our multi-constituent model of thrombosis, which had been validated for low to moderate shear rates, but lacked the VWF component to predict thrombosis in high shear environments. In the model, we consider platelets in resting and activated states that can deposit on a biomaterial surface, and a number of biochemical species involved in platelet activation, agonist production, and inhibition processes. Platelets can then aggregate to form a thrombus, and all of this boils down to a pair of competing processes, the position of flowing platelets versus shear cleaning of platelets by the flow, a tug of war of sorts. Now, in high shear conditions, such as arterial flow, the shear cleaning dominates, and only VWF can restore the balance. That is why we introduced two new species in this work, VWF in collapsed and stretched conformational states. In this paper, we incorporate VWF into the multi-constituent model of thrombosis, and here the presence of VWF in stretched or unfolded conformation has a two-fold local thrombogenic effect. It amplifies the deposition rates of free-flowing platelets and reduces the shear cleaning of deposited platelets as a function of the local VWF-S concentration.